Thomas Reck, good morning. What's up, brother? How you doing today? I'm, I'm doing really well, thanks. Thomas, uh, man, I've I got to get right to it. The CMAs, you absolutely made my jaw drop. You and Katie... Really? Yeah, here's the thing. You and Katie singing the song, you know, where we started. Love the record. Love the two of you together. But you hit that really high note on weight. <laughs> um, is, dude, I mean, my, I'm like, whoa! Uh, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that pretty much the top of your range? Oh, a million percent. That's why I was so terrified before that performance. And what's funny is, um, like, literally, like, my whole family, there's like 16 of us on, like, a group text chain. And my sister, my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, everybody goes, dang, dude, I didn't know that you could sing that high. Yes. And so, like, I, th- I think I shocked my family, yep. uh, which was which was really fun. And so, uh, yeah, thank you for saying that. I, I'm thanking God every day that he allowed me to hit that note. You so. you nailed it. It was really it was really a defining Thanks, man. defining moment of that night. I appreciate what a, that. What a special night it was. All right. So your song, Half of Me, with Riley Green, uh, ready, yeah. ready to be your 19th number one. Uh, yeah. and not the first time you've worked with your dad. Uh, do you have a do you have a favorite song that you and your dad have worked on that you can bring to mind? You know what? Me, my dad and I have written so many songs together, and a lot of them have been uh, you know hits on country radio. But I think writing "Life Changes" with my dad okay. is will always be my favorite memory uh, because my life was absolute chaos in 2017. Mm-hmm. Be on the road. Um, adopting our first child from Uganda, also being pregnant with our second child. There was a lot going on, and it was really cool for my dad to help me write that song from his perspective. So right. that would be my favorite one I've gotten to write with him. I love that answer. All right. Um, I read that half of me took about 30 minutes to write. It, it did. Like there, It does not happen often. Uh, it, maybe it happens often, but not worth recording. And this was one of the ones like – Someone said that phrase to me outside the bus. They're like, half of me wants a cold beer, and so does the other half. And we just went back up there, and we're like, how do we write the simplest song about wanting a beer right now? <laughs> and that, that's, that's how it popped out. And then, you know, getting Riley Green on this track was so fun to get to be in the studio with him. And, and, and watching this song be at, you know, number two on the chart right now is, is absolutely mind-blowing to me. So very, very grateful for what the song has done and how it's been reacting live, and, and uh, we appreciate y'all playing it very yeah, much. Yeah, I'm playing the heck out of it. I love it. Uh, you, you kind of alluded to it. I'm not sure you can answer this question, but what is the fastest you have ever written a song? I would say that's it. Okay, all right, all right. Yep. So, I would say that's it. <laughs> challenge accepted. So now you have to write yep. one about 28 minutes or so. That's right, that's uh, right. All right, um, half of me all about putting off chores just for that. Got to have that beer right now. Uh, when you were a kid, was there a chore you got in trouble for a lot because you never did it? Dude, cutting the grass. You know, <laughs> it's, it was always that thing you dreaded every single Sunday afternoon. You but, know what I mean? Uh, but, but obviously wasn't old enough to drink a beer at the age of 13. Well, no, certainly. But, certainly. Well, I mean, you, you, you were, but... Right. Uh, but cutting, cutting the grass was the worst. Uh, and, um, but and, you know what's funny is today I love cutting the grass. I, was, uh, I, I don't know if it's because I don't have to do it now no. that makes me like want to do it, but I love cutting the grass. Yeah, well, it gets you out of the house, away from the wife and That's kids, right. am I right? I That's mean, right. That's <laughs> right. But, but, also, but also, there's something really satisfying about those straight lines, man. you gotta got to make them straight. Well, dude, we live, you know, in this in this business, we live in a world, like, at least in the country music or the music genre, there's not a lot of instant gratification. You know what I mean? Like, you, you write a song, and you might not see the results from that song for another eight months to a year. But when you cut grass, you get to look behind you and be like, I just did that. You nice. know what I'm saying? Nice. Same with chopping firewood. Like, you get to actually watch your results in real time. That, that might be why I like it so much. Okay, excellent. Uh, Christmas decorations, they up yet? Uh, our lights outside are up, but nothing is up inside just yet. Okay, we put ours up yesterday. Uh, there you, you know, go. It's one of those things that, you know, if it makes you happy, go ahead and do it. That's right. I, I agree. I, I figured they would be up, or at least partially up, because you got the new Christmas EP out. Do you have a favorite Christmas song, and is one of the ones on the EP your favorite, or is there another one? Yes. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas is, has always been my all-time favorite Christmas song. Mm. So it was it was really special to get to record that in the studio. Do you have a least favorite? Because I'm going to tell you right now, any version of Run, Run, Rudolph makes me run for the yeah. hills. That's, I'm not, I, I do not like that song. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so we have something in common on that. We don't have yeah. We don't have something in common on cranberry sauce. Apparently, you and Connor Smith are team no cranberry sauce. I'm all about it. I can't, I can't do it, man. Like, literally since I was a kid, I know that's like a Thanksgiving Christmas staple, but it, it freaks me out to even look at. Mm. All right. Well, I, I guess we can... Uh, Sorry we can, about it. <laughs> no, hey, look, you know what? It's our differences that bring us together, right? That's right. All right. That's right. Uh, Georgia Bulldogs, are they going to win it all this year? I think they are, man. Okay. Yeah, every single game I watch, I'm like, I don't know. I don't I really don't know who can beat them. Yeah. Yeah. They're looking, they're, they're looking really strong, much to the yeah. chagrin of some of your Tennessee, you know, friends like uh, That's right. Morgan Wallen. Yeah, especially and, my, my wife. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So how's she handling it? 
Uh, you know, I think that this year a lot of Vol fans got really excited, and, and I do think that they still could potentially make it to the playoff. Um, but I just, I just don't know who's going to beat Georgia. Uh, I, I would hate to play Tennessee again because I think the revenge would be very, very strong. Right. Uh, but I, I do think that Georgia's going to take it all the way this year. I think Tennessee would hate to play you again only because they can't afford to lose another goalpost. Oh my goodness! Right. Yeah. All right. No. Funny. No. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> everyone in the studio with me right now is looking at me like, "Careful what you say." Yeah, I, I get that. I get. That. And now, finally, uh, we're going to go back to Thanksgiving for the last question. Build your perfect yep. Thanksgiving. Build your perfect Thanksgiving plate since we're so close to Thanksgiving. What's on it? Uh, man, like a smoked turkey. Mm. Um, my grandmama's dressing. Um, sweet potato casserole green bean casserole, and uh, Sister Schubert biscuits, but the, only the middle one, not the edges. Sister so. Sister Schubert biscuits? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can find them at, like, any grocery store. Okay. They've been, I think they've been around for, like, 80 years. Okay, I'm going to have to go look so. for those. And, and again, yep. it's our differences that make us, you know, closer because I'm an edge guy. I'm take, you can have the centers. I'm going to eat the edges oh, all day long. I'm the edge all day. Okay, all right, very or, good. Sorry, the center all day, yeah. Uh, yeah, very good. Hey, Thomas Reck, great speaking with you uh, again. Uh, going to hit number one. With half of me, looking forward to listening to all your Christmas music and uh, keep on hitting those high notes. Yes, sir. Will do. Thank you. Take care.